Hi, this is Daniel Spiro with If I Had Only Known. Short, upbeat videos focused on making your life easier. Over the decades I've made some relationship strangling mistakes, silently. A good example? Scorekeeping. It's an awful game played in all kinds of relationships, romantic, friends, co-workers. A game that both sides lose and too often both sides watch as they wreck the relationship. This video takes a light look at this game but is really about replacing it with something totally, awesomely, eye-wideningly better. So let's dive in. For most games there's a scorecard, pencil, printed, or mental, and no matter how many cards are floating around the game, they all read the same, with one glaring exception. It's the game called Relationships Suck. The game is simple and it goes like this. I did for you, now you do for me. Why aren't you? In normal games like basketball or pinball, tossing pennies or tossing logs, it's about who has the highest score. But with this game, the opposing side score is always higher, which puts the home team in a state of losing disbelief. Right, both sides believe they have a lower score, both believe the opposing side owes them, and both experience all the negative feelings that go with losing. Now this game is played in silence. In fact, it's one of the main rules, absolute silence, and even though one side occasionally reaches out and reduces some of that separating distance, the silence keeps pushing the scores in balance until there's more resentment and blame than caring and, for romance, love. I know about this scorekeeping better than many because it was the way I grew up, and it affected my relationships, romantic and otherwise, for far too much of my life. So, although it's off topic, this is what I wish I'd known decades ago. It can be difficult to stop long-term behavior. It's easier to stop when it's replaced with something new. So let's do that. Let's replace that despicable game with something that will bring you a ton of benefits. Six to be exact. As you will see in step two. Oh look, that's where we are now. Step two. Because this step is so powerful, you don't even need step one. So powerful, you'd better be sitting down when you hear it. And you might need to dust off all of your acting skills. Ready? Give often, without expectation of returns, without keeping track, and without even remembering. If you were sitting, you're probably on your feet now shouting, That's stupid! They're not giving to me, and you want me to start giving and giving and giving to them? Definitely. Because of what it's going to do for you. 1. It can almost immediately up your quality of life by bringing you a closer, more energized relationship. 2. Did you know that when one person in any kind of relationship truly changes, the other has to change? They can't go on as before. It feels wrong, so they adjust. Which means there's a good chance that they'll start giving freely to you. But don't keep track. Just be grateful. Now that's two great benefits already, but wait until you hear these. 3. Giving freely will raise your self-esteem immediately. And 4. This added self-esteem will raise your general level of happiness, because liking yourself more always does. And 5. Freely giving will also increase your inner strength, automatically. Which brings us to 6. You no longer have to live with the tension, the stress that scorekeeping crams and twists into your life. All that for just taking a deep breath, stepping up, and freely giving to someone in your life, someone you care about, at least a little. Now to explore this unusual notion you might need those dusted off acting skills, to act as though you want nothing in return, and then keep on acting, holding back and remaining silent, even as you're wanting to point out, remind or at least hint at the wonder of your giving. And if you think it'll help, here's that first step. Break the silence, which can break the game. Start by talking about the game itself. Gently get them to agree that it's a game you have both been playing. And if they don't agree easily, let it go. It doesn't matter. You'll change them with that brand new and awesomely amazing you. 
Now I know that starting this might not be easy, so consider beginning slowly, a few times a week for a few weeks, and then increase it. Not easy? Yes, it could take some inner strength, even courage, but the six benefits of doing it anyway, and keeping at it, could lift you, and them, into a more energized relationship, and give you an easier, stronger, happier life. Your next video is about releasing that one deep desire that was shoved under a cant so long ago. It's about the three small words that will finally release you to do it. Click subscribe now to feel inspired, to break out, and energize your life. These unusual videos come out every other Tuesday evening at 8 Pacific Time. And for those in your life who will thank you for this information on scorekeeping and freely giving, the share button is just below. Okay, your turn. This channel is just beginning, and will be a community of people helping each other by sharing their own insights, information, and experiences. So get your friends in here. We'll have some lively exchanges and take some surprising steps as we lift our lives together. Like now, with you. If you've decided to start giving freely, give us one idea of how you're going to do it, or more, or what is it in your life that you're struggling with right now? Do you hear it? The comment section is calling your name. This community is you and us. I'll leave you now with a startling look at what can happen when you subscribe, followed by a couple of great quotes on giving. And thanks for spending this time with me.